all types of CMM and all types of measurement software requires a sphere to qualify the tools. Even our planet looks like one, so it's only natural that we know how to measure it. The sphere measurement. You will need minimum 4 points in order to define the sphere. The procedure is like it is at a circle, but you will need a point taken at the top of the sphere in order for the software to detect that you want to measure a sphere and not a circle. If you think about it, the sphere measurement is the first clue shown by any measurement software that you have to work with the nearest surface in order to detect the true values of a geometrical element. Just by simply touching the sphere in the middle, you tell the software where it is located. And if you measure it once and use those values to measure it again, you can be sure that it's measured correctly. So let's see how to distribute the points on a sphere. In order to determine the distribution of points on a sphere, we will need to cover the sphere with circular sections according to the height and the radius of the sphere. The height equals 2 times the radius. So, in order to make it simple, we will have the following example. A sphere with a radius of 100 millimeters distance between first section right here and the, the last section will be 150 millimeters in order to cover most of the surface of the sphere and we decided to take 30 points on the sphere to measure the diameter the radius and its form we can even use some formulas to calculate the number of section and how to distribute the points on the section if we don't have a CAD model. You can use the formula even on the CAD model, but as we know, the CAD model offers you the simplicity of touching wherever you want virtually and the software will know exactly where to go and to measure the points on the sphere. So. This is the formula right here where n c is the number of section, n is the desired uh, number of points and the h is the height between the first and the last section and r is the radius. So for our example we have the formula and the calculation is right here. So it's 30 uh, which means the desired number of points. Uh, times 150 uh, which, which means uh, the distance between the first section and the last one uh, divided by 2 times P times 100 100 is the radius of the sphere uh, and this if you calculate it, this will uh, result in two, uh, 260, two, 267 around the number and we will get three so we will have three sections on the sphere uh, and also we will we will have to know how to distribute the points on the uh, section of the sphere and this is the formula right here where NP is the number of points a equals uh, the n, the desired number of points, which is 30 in our case, and the n c uh, that we have the result right here is 3, so we will have 10 points on each circular section. This is the way that you can uh, calculate the number of points distributed on each section and the number of sections that you want to use according to the desired number of points. This is the last video for the mini-series of the geometrical elements. Next we will talk about the reference systems. So stay with me, we have a long journey together because my plan is to share the knowledge that I have and to make it as easy as I can for everyone to understand it. Until next time, have a nice one.